Today we would like to introduce to you another strange locomotive. The Great Eastern Railway Class A55, or Decapod as it was known, was an experimental steam locomotive with an O10OT wheel arrangement. It was the first ten coupled steam locomotive in Great Britain. Politics were the sole motivation for building this locomotive in order to block the passage through Parliament of a new rival scheme for an electric railway. The Decapod was built in 1902, designed by the GER chief draftsman, Fred Russell, under the supervision of the then chief superintendent, James Holden, at the Stratford Works. This new locomotive was built to demonstrate the ability of a steam locomotive to accelerate passenger trains at a rate comparable to that of electric traction and the electric trams, both of which the GER were also in competition over short distances. The locomotive was far larger than any previously built in Britain for home use. It had ten four foot six inch driving wheels, which gave very high tractive effort. In this unit, three cylinders were used due to insufficient room for two cylinders large enough to produce the required tractive effort without having to employ a higher boiler pressure. However, it still had to have a pressure of 200 psi to achieve the desired result. There were three separate grates and ash pans, one on each side outside of the frames, and a third inside, giving an aggregate area of 42 square feet. The trailing drivers were given a side play of 0.5 inches, or 12.7 millimetres, and the coupling rods were fitted with ball and socket joints. As the cranks of the three cylinders were set at 120 degrees in relation to each other, perfect balancing of the reciprocating parts was secured. In order to minimise the driver's slipping, and to further improve traction, Compressed air sanders were also fitted. The specification required that the locomotive should accelerate the 315 ton train from a standstill to 30 miles per hour in 30 seconds. It was stated that Holden's engine actually accelerated a new train of 18 carriages weighing 335 tons at a rate of 1.4 feet per second in very windy weather. Axle load at 17 tonnes was not excessive, but weight per foot run of wheelbase was very high, and using a class of these engines would have necessitated considerable bridge strengthening along the lines on which it would be run. So although it achieved its aims, nothing resulted from this experiment. The class 55 was rebuilt in 1906 as a 080 and later scrapped. We hope you have enjoyed this video of a strange steam monster. Please like, share and subscribe for more unusual locomotives.